Hello everybody and welcome back for uh, more V Rising. We are returning back to this game uh, once again before uh, the full release that will be on 5th, 8th of May and I will be uh, making a 24 hour stream of that game. But before that I just wanted to jump back just to get um, back to the swing of things and just check out the game again because it's so good. We will be starting over right uh, with the new young web a good looking guy that, that haven't seen really uh, the the world or world around uh, world uh, for for a long time so he forgot all his powers and he is just thirsting for for some fresh blood and uh, yeah that's exactly where we will start we will be fighting powerful bosses we will we will be defeating uh, many humans that will will stand against us and and also, we will be creating our home. That means a big, beautiful castle, and and I hope much more. Some exploration, some some good stuff will happen on this journey. I hope, and hopefully he will not die on the on the first step before we will uh, he will like experience something, right? So let's join me to this journey, to his journey, and let's get to it. To start it off, we should probably wake up right before something can happen. After we will wake up, we need to get a few things straight. We need new armor, we need new weapons, and we need to get uh, like some power because yeah, we are not as strong as we used to be. So let's get those things right away. And we got the first encounter right against the skeleton and it's over <laughs> it was quickly done right we will slash him with our nails because yeah after a long slumber they they, quite, they got the quite the length and i think we should be uh in the in the in the state that we are able to craft our new uh, sword and what is the best thing we can craft our sword even we are in the middle of the fight so that, that's really handy Let's use some ability, some some counters, right? Because uh, we we are just know how it works, even though we were sleep sleeping for a while. But with the new sword, we are able to cut through them easily. On the way uh, of the cemetery, we will of course collect some resources, some bones, some stones and wood that's lying around because we will use it for sure. And also, don't forget about the rats. This is mo the best food that you can find right after uh, you wake up, right? So, so don't forget about those creatures. And let's get out of here. Right after we escape the cemetery, we are finally able to create some armor. So the chest armor, look at it. Look at it. And we are burning from the sun. Oh my god, let's go to the shadow. And also we need some pants. And for the rest of the things, we will need to find uh, yeah, some wolves. So let's get to those. And I feel they, they got the blood on them. So let's let's suck it a little bit, like 2%. Oh my god, disgusting. Fuck. But better, better than nothing, right? But after, you know, you can't go through exquisite right after you wake up. You need to get to that like slowly, you know. So, so now we have some something to work with. Two percent creature blood, nothing exceptional, but we will find better. We we will find uh, something really good. All right, eighteen percent. Let's go. And I think that should be enough for uh, for uh, creating ourselves a cement. That would be nice uh, to have the healing solve if something will happen. And also, we are able to craft a new weapon uh, out of the bag. So we got the new slashers. Oh, no slashers, uh, the axes. And with those, yeah, let's jump into it. Let's let's cut down some trees uh, uh, while we edit. Because the power behind that is certainly there and our backs are quite, quite like big so we will be able to squeeze their few trees you know if you know what I mean uh, so let's let's cut down one more just just to um, you know fulfill the mission that we we uh, that we have for ourselves oh ho, ho, I'm smelling something good what is that spider Mmm, good spider. 62% spider. Oh my god. Let's let's kill him. Let's kill him. Six. Oh my god, this feeding is nice. 
God damn it, that will increase our power significantly. Okay, some movement speed, uh, some some other damage reduction, and yeah, sun resistance. We we are we are good. All right, let's continue through the through the land, and hopefully we will find a suitable location for our living. While we search for our new home, we find a wolf's den, and I can sense that there is a powerful wee blood around, and we will need to slay to enhance our abilities that uh, we lack in right now. So let's let's look around him for a while. Oh, there he is! The first enemy with wee blood. That the most powerful blood in world run. So it's a powerful adversary that we need to slay to obtain his powers that we lack right now. So let's let's kill him real fast. All right, that haven't been the the best uh, fight ever, but we got our first V blood, and hopefully I we will get stronger. back to swing of things, and we will be able to make those counters and and strikes a little bit more precise. But now we got the power to be uh, a wolf himself and we are able to run a little bit faster around this world so the our our next job right here is to find ourselves a place to call a home and finally i think i found it this is the perfect place for our first settlement we will be uh, here in the downly farmlands but it's really close to the first location the far bean foods where we started so i think that's a perfect spot for our first base and with that it's time to place our castle heart somewhere and uh, yeah as a start let's place it right here before the entrance and we will we will need to create some some things around here and we will need to start uh with some foundations to be to be able to build our things around but still, the pesky sunlight is in our way, and we need to get, like, you know, hold ourselves uh, in the shadows. Otherwise, we will burn down. Let's let's go for the small montage of uh, building our first uh, set of things to start uh, creating some production buildings and so on. After we find out the resources, we need to do essential things. Let's go make a coffin. Uh, let's go make a brazier for uh, blocking the sunlight. Some boxes because we will need store items to go for another hunting party. And uh, yeah, and one more thing that will be really, really necessary. And, and that's crafting. And we need to refine planks out of the wood. So let's let's build that because uh, yeah, that will be super, super handy. Let's, let's give there uh, some wood to start processing and we need uh, a little bit more wood for another one. After the trip for the wood, 
we are back and we can make another sawmill so let's let's place a second one and give the a little bit of wood to starting off because as i said we need those planks quickly as possible and after a little bit of time we finally have enough planks to create our first workbench simple workbench will help us to create next set of tier uh, of equipment and here we have a plated bone guard chest guard leggings gloves and boots and also a new blood road ring and uh, our like um item score will go up significantly and we will be much powerful oh look at this absolutely amazing and with another piece of wood in our inventory, we are able to create our first reinforced bone spear. So with that, we will have a little bit more power behind our like stabs um, versus creatures. And also, we would love to have a new a set of axes, right? Because we will need to chop down quite a lot of trees. And one more thing that uh, yeah, I would love to invest in is uh, to have um, a new mace because if we will encounter a copper ore on our way we will need to carry out that and that's about it we are creating our last weapon we get everything in our inventory and with that we will go and hunt we bloods again on the way back to farbane forest we found out the bandit camp and we need to care care of a few things here <laughs> and also we need to try out our new equipment that we crafted so let's let's dispose of those those humans and maybe there will be someone who will have a uh, like you know, you know pure blood uh, to be worthy to drink but so far nothing amazing going here so, so just just you know stab them real quick throw out some blood around and and uh, deal with everyone and also after after the good work we are here to get ourselves some spoils so uh, pick up the chests and destroy the crates and everything that's that will be really really good uh, like resources back for our base so let's jump on into our wolf and let's continue to find someone worthy and this is our destination bandit copper mine it's daylight so let's go to the mines and there will be a lot of uh copper to mine and i smell something delicious and i think that's a that's a blood that is really worth it so let's let's dispose of those that oh my god there's a lot of enemies here so let's try to survive and not to kill the one that is really good Good blood because that was be that would be really wasting right so yeah five percent feed on him where is the good one oh oh he's on the left with the red sparkles around he just looks tasty right <laughs> so oh no okay let's let's keep him as the last one because we don't want to dispose of him uh quickly what is it 97 percent oh my god this is the beast this is the biggest amount we found so far and i feel this is quite a cool so 97 percent rogue oh my god that, that is only like three percent missing to get the buff that every every single one of the other things will be double or oh, 30 percent plus but so far this is this is amazing blood so yeah let's find the boss and mine some copper. Oh, here we are, Earl the Stonebreaker. Let's get him. Oh my god, exquisite. So another wee blood with a new ability. And I think this was a worthy battle. 
All right, destroy everything. And yeah, that was kind of fight. Oh, golden chest even. All right, give me something good. Oh yeah, we got the, we got the gem. But for the ability that is not really in our possession right now. So let's keep it for later. Okay, so let's let's mine some ore and get out of here. That should be quite enough uh, copper for this day. So let's get out of here and let's find another person that is worthy of our fight. And as you can see, we got quite a lot of stuff in our inventory. So let's continue. We are closing in to another boss. At least I can smell him nearby. Oh, there he is, Rufus the Foreman. So let's go for another fight, shall we? Oh, nice! With, and with last hit, we are back for extracting a little bit more V blood. And after that, we will need to deal with all of those enemies. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so we got another powerful ability, and we will be able to craft a crossbow. But that's for another time, I guess. Let's start fall a little bit uh, in the shade of the mountain and check out what we can get. So that was the Rufus that we found uh, right now. There's the Alpha Wolf that we killed. Rufus, right? Yeah, we got the woodworking bench. We also slay the Errol and we got the new spell. And now we want to get Keely, the Frost Archer. So let's let's uh, get there uh, tracking and now we will know exactly where to go on to find that boss to kill right on the way to the archer i stop in this bandit camp that i would love to kill all those enemies and uh, yeah you know loot more uh, but it seems that this is this is kind of tricky in the daylight uh, to fight all those enemies so hopefully hopefully we will uh, get out of here like unhurt uh, okay all right Getting tough. I'm I'm really like the tree that I'm fighting under. Otherwise, it will be kind of problematic. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Am I going to die? No, 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 no. Oh, let's go. Okay, that was a good kill. What else do we have? Oh, more enemies coming. Okay, feet. Great. The archer is down. That was that was that was bad. Oh, the heal. That was clutch. Okay, let's go counter. Okay, that's nice. And. What else do we have? Like a stun. But when he's alone, that's okay. And give him an fee. Oh my god, we almost haven't make it. Okay. Let's go for um for a healing and hopefully we will get out of here. Uh hopefully. <laughs> And finally, after a while, we found out where the stench is coming from and we found another wee blood. 
So let's go dispose of the Kelly, hopefully, and uh, yeah, hopefully nothing wrong will uh, happen here. Oh yeah, sweet victory. And with that, we got another blue blood in our possession. And we are getting more and more powerful. New knowledge acquired. Nice. Perfect. We are kind of running low on, on blood, but other than that, we got full inventory. So we I think we should return back to our base. Meanwhile, we looting this place. I saw something incredible. And if you, oh my god, look at him at the back. The archer got exquisite blood. Just that, uh, that's what we like. So let's let's get him on uh, and, and increase our potential in our power. Because that will be over 90%. I don't know exactly now what, what it is, but we will, we will know really, really soon. Okay, last one. Oh, 94. Oh, oh, oh. Oh wow, we can't kill him, that will be worthless. All right, 94% blood here. And with that, we are happy to return back uh, to our home. First of all, I hate the sun. So let's go and give this some bones for the brazier to create for ourselves a little bit of shade around our base to be able to move freely. And yeah, we need we need to do something about those, those uh, those walls we need to create a castle but for that we will need the bricks so let, let's start with few things that we will need a refinement oh uh, yeah oh yes that's exactly how we will get those bricks going so let's create two grinders oh yeah let's let's give it the, another one come on yeah you can squeeze here and we, we will give the, those bricks to start working immediately if I am able to find any <laughs> So here is the stone needed that we had in the chest and there is not really a big amount of stone. So we will need to farm a little bit more because we need those furnaces going. So let's go for some stone. We are back and with that we can place our first two furnaces right about here I think. Next thing we will place uh, for ourselves a research desk that will help us to uncover new schematics that we will be able to craft new things for ourselves. So we got four free uh, four books that we found out by killing enemies and looting boxes and those two are absolutely amazing that we found. For another thing, we can discover a little bit more because we got some spare pages, alright? And the last one, oh my god, that's super cool! We got three out of four uh, upgrades that we can go uh, for immediately after we will create our front, like next set of gear. Let's feed the furnaces with the copper that we found in, uh, in the copper mine, we got crazy amount. So hopefully that will be enough for ourselves to create some uh, some copper weapons and that will be major major boost in our power. In simple workbench we can create uh, for ourselves the first uh, night stalker west. Okay, let's let's start with that. I don't know if we uh, have enough for everything. Oh yeah, we don't have enough leather. So that's a, that's a problem. So we need to create the the workstation on exactly that to cause yeah give us a little bit of those letters in in the tannery so let's place there uh the the first that we brought from the um, slaying the the wolves and everything in the forest i think we got a little bit more so so let's let's place there everything we got 
because I think we will need a lot of leather to uh, do, you know, build everything that we want. So give the 700 here, 750 here, and that will take some time. But I feel that we, with that, we will be able to finally create full set of gear. Oh, here we stand in nine stalker gear. Um, and we are able to even upgrade it to the next level. But now the next thing that we need, as I said, is the weapon. So hopefully we'll work on that. So still, we can go for the cape. So yeah, let's let's uh, pick out uh, this one. Yeah, I think is the right choice. Yep. And also, we can immediately upgrade the Merciless Night Stalker, which is like another tier of, of the equipment upgraded from the first part. So this, this is amazing that we found the three discoveries uh, right from the get-go. That will give us a huge amount of power. And with a little bit, little bit of weight, we finally have enough copper ignits to start um, creating our first copper weapon. And that will be just amazing because it will give us another ability slot so that our power will go up significantly. And finally, we can test our copper axes against this tree. With new ability, new Q, I think we will be cutting down those trees a lot smoother. Look at that. We are almost at four mer merciless. Um, yeah, nice stalker gear. So only, only chest is missing. But I feel that uh, this is this is huge power spike and we will be able to hunt more enemies. But uh, for now, we need some resources. So let's let's check out what we have as ability goes because we we farm a little bit of those abilities before. And yeah, there is a there is a new wolf uh, uh, wolf form that is absolutely the same as the previous one. It's just a skin, and we will use a different ability for cutting down trees because this will give us frenzy, and that means that we will have a little bit like easier time because the attack speed will go up. So it's good for farming resources. So let's go through that, and right after that we will uh, go and go back to slaying powerful enemies. So who will be the next? Those are the enemies we killed already. And so Grayson the Armorer and Gorswine the Ravager. I think those two will be the next on our list. So let's go for this one first. And we made our way to the lair of the next boss and with the wee blood. And it's time for us to try out the new abilities that we got and also the, the copper weapon and our armor. So let's go for it. Intruders in the camp! I've got the tool for the job! You can't stop me! I've got the tool for the job! Gonna hammer you out! Holy moly, that was a fight. All right, it's starting to get better and better. And another wee blood in our possession. And with that, a little bit of a power restored. All right, and also we got a book out of, uh, of the boss and the golden chest. Yeah, it's good time to be alive. Let's take it and let's continue on our journey. Immediately after that, I wanted to go for Desecrated Graveyard and go for the second boss in a row. 
uh, chorus one, the Ravager. So yeah, th this is we will be wild uh, because of all those skeletons. So let's go and talk to him real quick. Oh my god, those pesky poisons kept us on our toes. But with that, another wee blood we got. And more abilities we uncovered. Let's go. Alright, so Gorswine is dead. We got a few more recipes and more enemies waiting to be slaughtered. So Clive, Forest Archer, and Lydia, the Chaos Archer. Oh, this this one this one we need all right all right so let's go against the Lydia next and it seems that we are getting close oh yeah on the way to the camp we found the Lydia the chaos archer so let, let's go to it and make ourselves uh, more powerful in no time by killing her think on your feet Oh my god, that was kind of quick, right? We dealt with her, like, with ease. But the copper weapons and my armor is just making it easy. Okay. We got another one. Okay, Lydia is done. We got new ability. And with that, um, Clive the Firestarter. Okay, let's go. After long journey, finally we are in the Sulfur Quarry. This is the uh, like place where it's really hard to fight at uh, at daytime, so I'm glad that it's the middle of the night, and we will need to deal with those those uh, pesky fighters before we can engage uh, the boss. But I feel that we will not have any problems right there. So let's kill this one, collect everything they got. And we are we are ready to push a little bit deeper in this camp. And he should be somewhere around here. Okay, there is a Clive Firestarter. Oh. 
Okay, 69. Haha, <laughs> meme. Okay, Clive. Let's go for it. And with the last explosion, he's kneeling on the ground. It's time to extract the wee blood and make ourselves more powerful in the process. All right, it's almost daytime, so we should probably like kill those uh, enemies and get out of here and get back to the base to upgrade our our arsenal. All right. Oh my God. Oh my. No! How could that happen? So many dynamite around. Uh, first death is here. God damn it. Alright. So it's time to resurrect at the portal. And without anything, just go back. Pick up our um our corpse, our items, and back to the base. God damn it. On the way back I find those shady dealers here in the camp and they are selling all kinds of stuff. Like the seeds, gems and, and like you know hats. And the best part is that they are selling books. And those books will unlock a new new possibilities uh, for ourselves. For example, they have merciless uh, items and also forge flooring this one will just allow us uh, to go and uh, squeeze a little bit or more from our furnaces that would be amazing but unfortunately we got only 84 coins so we will not be able to take everything and also we don't have enough space you now let's, let's check out those books um, because i think i will have some duplicates that we already have and we don't need anymore yeah, we got three out of four merciless things. Only only coat is remaining. So if I yeah, now it's dark with leggings. Yeah, we don't need this. So let's throw it out. Gloves and leggings again. So yeah, and we got space again. Good. And what to buy? I think I will go with copper axis and spear. Yeah, because this is the only thing that I'm using. So as a weapon, so this will be. Great. Nice. Let's go back. First of all, research desk. Let's go through this. And we got the, yes, merciless spear, merciless axis, new ring, some windows uh, for alchemy flooring and some candles. All right. And do we have, yeah, we got some papers. Oh, we got the rug. That's not the most exciting thing ever, but we got it nevertheless. All right. Let's go through all those things that we have. Give uh, our copper to the smelting and wood there and, and hides and everything. And then we will continue from there. And time is here to upgrade our merciless copper axis. Or now normal axis to merciless copper axis. And that's another huge step in our power. 
And finally it's time to get rid of the Palisades and go with something that every vampire should have. And that's a proper castle. At least start with the, you know, <laughs> walls from the stones and not from the wood. So let's go create ourselves a first castle. Okay, so that was quite a journey to create ourselves a first like level of the castle. At least we are, um, you know, uh, protecting against the uh, against the sun inside. And it's time for go for some gems and go for uh, more kills uh, of we bloods. Oh, what do we have here? Vincent, level forty four. I think this will go poorly, but you know what? Let's go for it. Oh my god, I think it's time to run. <laughs> this is not really uh, for us to take right now, but <laughs> we will return back before we will uh, go out to hunt for real. We need to clear for ourselves the leather workbench. 
uh, th this one will give us opportunity to create some some pouches, and it will give us a little bit, little bit more, uh, you know, uh, space in inventory, and that's always needed because there is a lot of resources that we need to come back with. So let's place it for now here because we don't have uh, the tailoring room. I think it need to be in. So uh, yeah. We don't have those tiles so far. So yeah, well, let's create our pouches. With enough resources, we finally can create all of those. So let's go research bag, jam bag, and a uh, bag. The more inventory space is always needed because those resources are everywhere. And with that, we are kind of getting the, for the best vampire out there. And of course, there is no best vampire without merciless copper spears. So let's go create this one real quick. And with that, I think we are finally ready to go out again. And here we are in the biggest cemetery in Farming Woods, and we are about to bu Another fight Nicholas the Fallen. So let's get him. Oh my god, that was close. That was almost like, yeah, we would die. But uh, yeah, it seems that we were in the end victorious. We need to still find because we'll need to teleport somewhere dead. But oh, there he is looking on his cemetery. But it's time to extract the blood. The wee blood. And the most powerful necromancer here in these regions is dead. And with that, we got plenty of resources on the ground, some upgrade crystal, some new books to for the research. And we are ready to go for another adversary that will be here in the far way woods. Immediately, we went for the bear cave, where is the really big boy hidden and we need to kill this ferocious bear. But we are almost out of the blood, we got like centiliters in ourselves and without the blood we will be really really weak, so hopefully this will go well.
Ho oh, ho! God damn it! He almost get like you know push us out of the cave and we almost died. But we got another one. Great! It's a great day out here and me dying on the not enough blood. Oh my god! We need to consume a heart. Ugh. Not greatest feeling out of the world, but at least we are alive. So we will need to find uh, some 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 good blood. Otherwise, it will be painful. All right, let's continue. And while we at it, why not to go to this beautiful grove and you know slay some uh, powerful enemy and get some powerful ability? But we first we need to find. Who oh, is the most powerful here? And it's a Polora. So, so let's get show her that, yeah, not anymore. Oh, I knew that. Oh, he feels so powerful. And we are starting to get used to those spectral abilities. So, so another one in our pocket is yeah, the same as she got. But now she's dead. And we are the only thing that remained. I think we are on the brink of defeating all powerful enemies in Farbane Woods. And I think there is still one more to kill and here we arrived to the gates of the most powerful like settlement in the forbidden forest and the leader of this will need to die but before we can uh, harm him we need to destroy this gate and for that we will use power of the bear oh yes here we go so first of all, let's slay enemies here and uh, base on that. But after that, we will be able to get the, to the King of Bandits. And the only problem right now is that it's almost a daytime. Like, so we should wait probably on the night again before we will go for the boss. Otherwise, I, I don't think that, that it will work out well because it's really hard to fight him during a daytime. At least what I remember. Oh my god, I saw something amazing. God damn it, we need to get it. I smell something absolutely amazing in these ruins. And uh, yeah, soon enough, it will be ours, hopefully. This guy who will chasing us is 100% brute. So that's the first 100 I'm seeing with this vampire. And I am pumped, you know, to just just see the blood and taste the blood will uh, get my my heart pumping. All right, brood 100 percent. Let's just squeeze it. So we got all those things maxed out, right? And with the with the power of 100, it's even plus 30 percent on top of that. We absolutely rolling, and it's right before the boss. So uh, you know that that's that's really cool. So we will, I think we will just get him easily without any problems with this kind of blood. 
Yeah. So let's go continue uh, through the through this, and we will be there in no time. Oh god damn it! Oh no! Oh no! Burning! Oh my god! No 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 no! No! Everything is wrong! Oh god! What am I? What have I done? No! <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm so, so stupid. That was the quickest loss of the 100% blood in the history of vampires. If Dracula see me right now, he is laughing his ass off. God damn it. So we lost the 100. <laughs> and now we will be fighting the boss with 0% blood. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, hopefully we will find something like similar-ish. After quite a long time, we made it through the bandit camp and we arrived to the bandit Kim himself. So let's show him who is the best in these woods. God damn it. I want this pathetic attempt. We are laying on the ground. Wasted. And I guess uh, the Bandit King is still the most powerful in the in here. With 20% warrior blood, we are going for it again. Hopefully this time a little bit better.
you've got a rousing battle. Show me what you've got. Rise to the challenge. Oh, let's go! Extracting the Wee Blood from the Bandit King. And with that, the most powerful being in the forest so far was slain by us. And that makes us the best, right? <laughs> so, Farbane Forest is done for now. Uh, we will need some materials for sure and other stuff. But now we learn how to make iron ignits, and that means that we are able to go for a tier 2. And here we are at the end of the part 1 of this journey of the and vampire that wake up quite a few uh, seconds ago and now he is really really powerful, but he still got a way to go. Just now, it's uh, time upon you to tell me if uh, you like the, what you saw, if you enjoyed the first part, uh, the tier 1 in the Farbane Forest, and if you would love to see the tier 2, right? The go for the second part, where we will go into iron, and we will slay some more enemies, some more powerful bosses. So, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section uh, if you would love to see that, uh, what do you like, what you don't like, and all kind of things. With that, check out more content above me and enjoy the rest of the day. Peace.